All right, hey everyone. So I've got some uh, new content on my opinions on the latest stuff for Quake Champions, and uh, I'm just gonna say also, uh, content is gonna be a little bit different this week because my editor, my uh, the the wife, is out for a week, so I probably won't have very much uh, fully edited videos like I I usually have uh, for gameplay footage and stuff like that of my Doom 2 level. So, <clears throat> for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just have, you know, regular content where I, I kind of just talk about things and show show things that are out there and uh, give my two cents about it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the new uh, the new new character introduction, which is Scalebearer for uh, for Quake Champions. Now, Scalebearer is pretty cool. He's he seems he seems really funny to me for some reason. He just he just strikes me as this like really hilarious character that is totally worth. Uh, here, just just check it out. Like, Let the calling begin. <laughs> I will rise and take my place among the gods. And take my place among the gods. He's so cheesy. This guy's got to be one of the funniest fucking characters to ever appear from an id game, like since the dope fish or something. Like scale scale bearer lives will probably be like a joke in in, in a future Doom level. But uh, he he takes like seventy five fifty to seventy five percent less damage while he's doing his bull rush. And he just sounds so fucking corny. <laughs> and he's people like exploding on his chest, like as he just sort of runs through them. This is just. <laughs> Stomp! Okay. So he could goomba. He goomba stomps people. He goomba stomps people. So uh, on Reddit, like when I mentioned this, I was like, "Oh my god, does he goomba stomp? Like, is he Mario? Like, is he like? <laughs> is he like? Oh my god, he needs a Mario skin." And I'm like, "Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, if they can make it so like he plays the sound, it's like, whoop -dip. you know, like <laughs> that would be." That'd be fucking hilarious. I I don't okay. Stomp and rush. So, <laughs> um, his ability, I mean, it. There must be a name for this effect, like, whenever you watch as a new character is released, there's a tendency to think that every character is overpowered when you're when you're watching them. You, you ever notice that? That there's, like, this... It's a basic thing where you can literally show any character from a fighting game or something like that and, like, make them look really badass, and then it just gives this, like, feeling that they're going to be overpowered. That's exactly what I'm seeing right now. So let's take a look at his bull rush ability for a second, and, like... You hear that? Dum, 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 dum. Okay, so I have neighbors upstairs, and like their kids like run around every once in a while. Kind of sounds like that. I'm thinking that after I'm playing this game for like eight hours straight, those kids are gonna give me fucking nightmares. It's like it's like I'm I'm not even gonna be playing the game. I'm gonna be like like sitting in UE4 doing some blueprint work, and I'm gonna hear dum, 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 and I'm gonna be like, oh fuck, there's a scale bearer. Like I'm gonna like freak out a little bit. Like I I'm pretty sure that those thump 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 sounds are gonna like getting lodged in my fucking brain, and I'm never gonna I'm gonna like have a nightmare. Thump 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 thump. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna fucking die! Like I'm gonna instantly be jibbed from somebody from around a fucking corner somewhere. <laughs> he, he he like barely had a chance to even touch the ground. Like poor ranger. We keep using him. It, 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 he keeps getting he keeps getting used for like uh for examples I 
So that plus one rock is about 175 damage ish. I mean, I don't know. I still I see a lot of numbers when I look at that part. I'm not I'm not really sure exactly how to equate what what equals what. Oh wait, shit! I gotta re fucking reverse this a lot. Damn it! Fuck. So we got. I don't know. I I see like just numbers flying all over the place. But damn, man. Like, so it's an extra 44 damage from the rocket? He doesn't get stunned. He sort of just, like, stops moving. I guess you see his footsteps, too. Like, those are stomps on the ground. That's pre pretty fucking hilarious. It's kind of hard to determine exactly how much damage the bull rush does. But, but, but I will say, though, that in Mike Tyson's punch out, if Bald Bull gets you with that fucking move, it's over. Like you, you know, you, you got you're gonna be KO'd. You're gonna have to like start hitting A and B really fast. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to get up because because Mario, who's oddly also in this, uh, in this example, shit, fucking Mario is Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and he calls it is Mario and fucking Mike Tyson's Punch Out Bold Bull. I mean, you can't you can't not see it. It's Illuminati, man. It's fucking Illuminati. The the connections are there. You're never gonna be able to wake wake up when you get hit by this guy. He's gonna just be flying through the map, and he's gonna be killing everybody. Y your entire team is just gonna be killed by one fucking bull rush. <laughs> and it's gonna be everywhere, and you're gonna hear that sound. I'll lead the way. Like. After extended playtests, I'm pretty sure this guy is going to ruin people's minds. Uh, I, I'm, I'm convinced that Scale Bearer is going to be, like, the character that that kind of, like, makes your eyes twitch when you hear certain sounds or whatever. You're about to die from around a corner. There's nothing you can do about it. Scale Bearer is going to kill you. It's worse than a horror movie. At least in horror movies, you know, like, you, you kind of see it, ha you know, you get to see the guy coming a little bit. Like, no. No, there's no scary music, nothing. Just, just, you're dead. You just died. You exploded. You instantly, in a Quake game, took 175 fucking damage because you were there. <laughs> Damn, it's like two rockets. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I will lead the way. Let's take a look at his stats real quick. Um, so he's he's pretty beefy, but I imagine that the other tank characters are uh, roughly equivalent. So we got here. So we can compare him directly to Nyx and kind of have a good idea of what, what she's got going on here. She doesn't start off with any armor at all. She only starts off with 100 health, which is like all the way down here. The thresholds seem like really different. But her mega, like, why, why are these numbers so vastly different? But anyway, I'm not, I'm not talking about the numbers that she has, but if you look at Scalebearer, Makes sense. All right, I, I'm just looking at it wrong. So his his speed is definitely a lot lower, but I mean his bull rush is pretty fast. So yeah, like he starts off like he spawns with maybe 50, 60, maybe 70 armor, something like that. That's what it, that's what it look, looks right here. I I think it I think in game when I was watching him uh, the footage. He started off with like 75 or 50 or something. Ah, uh, oh man, I don't have the exact numbers, but I imagine that these stats aren't really going to be all that different from the other tank. So you know, I guarantee you, Clutch and Sorlag. Sorlag, I think, is a tank as well. More champions. Um, it doesn't really say. 
It's kind of funny because Clutch, I guess, is the equivalent of Tank Jr. And I guess that's from the Quake 2 universe, the Strog. But uh, it, it doesn't really it doesn't really strike me as a Strog character anymore. I guess maybe Tank Jr. never really. No, he was because the Tank was one of the enemies. But uh, Sorlag apparently has a AOE spit. Or some kind of poison attack or something like that. Uh, that's what I read. But all right, so that's that's pretty much the stats on this guy. He starts off, he's he's really beefy, and the fact that his bull rush also makes it so that he takes like either half or seventy five percent less damage while he's moving. That's pretty considerable. Not only that, not only does the moves make him more tanky, but it also makes him more. Uh, maneuverable, right? Which, which I think is supposed to be a dichotomy, and he's he's getting both at the same time. Unlike the other characters, like Clutch can use a shield, but it makes him even less maneuverable, and Sorlag can be more of a lizard. So he 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 just he just lizards, and and you know does his acid spit or whatever. He doesn't really become more, more maneuverable unless the spit does something that I'm really not aware of. But uh. It appears to be mostly just for like dealing damage and stuff like that. So in this particular case, this guy's this guy's got maneuverability, and he's beefy. So I don't, and and the maneuverability also deals a lot of damage. So he seems like a really good deal. Like I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to think I'm just I'm just trying to think like if I was gonna pick champions. How he wouldn't probably be one of the main ones to pick, like, and and also too, like if you're gonna compare him to say Galena. Now, I'm gonna go into uh, Galena in a second, but like Galena's ability apparently only is like a 50 health bubble. It's a, it's a totem that she drops on the ground that gives about 50 health, right? If I up on Reddit, I was sold. It's basically for 1v1 purposes. Uh, the totem dies in one shot. It's super tiny radius, and it's basically an instant 50 health bubble. Galena is also considered a heavy. She's slow. But her model size is average. To be honest, by, a large, by and large, the abilities were not insanely impactful. Except Clutch's shield, which is really fucking annoying. So I mean I, I think that's pretty interesting because I I I could definitely see the value of Clutch's shield. I'm not fully aware. Is it on a 40 second cooldown? How long does it last? Like four four to eight seconds or something like that? Maybe the ability to cancel it early. Uh, Scale Bearer's ability to just sort of rush through and deal damage. But if you think about it, Scale Bearer Scale Bearer is also good because he can mitigate more than 50 health worth of damage. While using his move, while Galena can heal herself for 50 health and possibly a teammate or or something like that, like his mitigation is greater than that of her, uh, in, especially in a 1v1 scenario, is greater than her ability to to instantly re regenerate 50 health. So. I don't know. I, I find that I find that to be like he just seems like a really good deal. He just seems to have everything, and his movement speed. I mean, while it's probably slower, it's really hard. It's a really tough call because his ability allows him to go faster, but it also uh, it also reduces damage and allows him to deal more damage. And at the same time, it's worth noting that it doesn't take very much of a speed difference in movement to make a really big difference, especially. It, it's it's really something that you can't even truly equate into actual numbers. Like, what is the value of being able to get to the red armor before the other player or something along those lines? Like, as far as I could tell, I don't know if they even have uh, mega armors in this and stuff like that. I... I'm still learning more about it, actually. Maybe arenas will show some pictures. Um, let's take a look. Blood Covenant. No. 
three armor items. The weapon pickups are definitely there. There's a regular green sitting up on that side. And I know I see regular health bubbles. This might be a lesser green health armor or something like that. It seems like they're forcing you to control a larger number of different uh, items rather than just control megas like mega health and mega armor. So I don't know. I'll have to be watching a little bit more. Uh, here's some here's some basic footage. I you get to see a little bit of Galena and her ability. Uh, he's using Galena right here, and let's see if I can skip just a little bit. <laughs> Died on the same stairs. <laughs> Died right there. <laughs> I skipped the death. Um, so she's apparently a tanky, a tank character, or a, a heavy. Interesting. So, let's see. I think she drops her health. Oh yeah, she dropped it right there. And it healed her. It did a decent amount. It's kind of weird. Um... Yeah, it doesn't really, to me, my fear that she was going to cause problems is um, pretty much, it, it's it's gone. And I think that that armor was yellow over here. Yeah, it looks like a, no, it's green. Never mind. By the looks of it, though, that is like a super armor. That That's probably the equivalent of mega armor. So... Well, the item control is in. It looks, it's looking like a pretty solid game, and it's also looking like they're gonna, they're gonna be going with one v one. There, she dropped the health pickup again. But like, I can't even tell what it did. Apparently, it also has an offensive capability. Like, if somebody, like, if an enemy runs into it, it does something to them. I don't, I don't know. That's a little strange, though. But at this point in time, I don't know. I don't know quite what to think, but I I, I can say though that uh, that she, she definitely doesn't seem overpowered. I like the fact though that uh, the game is going to allow you to have full access to all the characters, and that if you want to play it for free, you can play as Ranger, the Quake One guy. Uh, which is my icon, but uh, it says the champion pack includes all all future champion editions. See, one of the things that I was afraid of was that you'd have to buy them one at a time and stuff like that. I'll, I'll just end up buying them right away. Like I I know I'm going to be playing this game quite a bit so that I can deal with scare scale bearer giving me fucking nightmares. Dum 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 dum. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my only questions now at this point is like is the game going to have mod support and stuff of, of that nature uh, I you know I can imagine that it's probably going to have to I'm probably going to have to upgrade my rig anyway uh, it's just something that I'm going to have to do eventually but I'm just glad I'm just glad to see that I won't have to buy one hero at a time uh, but I think that's actually a really interesting concept is being able to play the game but only being able to play the game for free but only having access to one character. Alright, so I think that's pretty much everything. Uh I'm really looking forward to more on this and I'll be doing more coverage and random thoughts and opinions on actual gameplay footage and stuff like that. It's difficult for somebody somebody at my skill level to really determine if the characters are going to be balanced, I, I can I can make judge judgment calls on just from the design of the characters whether or not there's going to be issues. I can already tell you right now that Scale Bearer is going to be kind of a nightmare for people who are not really used to dealing with him because he he's going to modify how you're going to navigate the level when you're dealing with Scale Bearer. Uh, 
which is something that a lot of players are going are just going to naturally have a difficult time dealing with. Like at lower skill ranges, you're you're just going to be plowing through squishies. I'm I'm not even joking. Like that character is going to be a, a total nightmare. You're going to hear the thump 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 thump, thump and it, for most players, that's just going to be their death knell. They're gonna they're gonna be going through a hallway. And maybe getting ready to enter a door, and it's just gonna be thump, 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 oh no, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so with that said, I, I think I'm gonna end this here, and I'm looking forward to more. I wanna see, I wanna play. I wanna play the game. Like, this, this game looks really cool. Alright, uh, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. And, peace out.